We've watched the Federal Reserve provide $16 trillion for bailing out banks, foreign governments, and essentially the entire global debt system. We are on the verge of an epic currency crisis, one that could create one of the largest bubbles we've seen in human history. Already the world has seen gold rally, in many cases to all-time highs. The Russian ruble collapsed and gold soared. As the euro earlier this year was almost in free fall, gold rallied big in euros. And when the Swiss central bank decided to devalue their currency with negative interest rates, gold spiked in francs. In the last six months, Brazil has seen gold rally back to a near all-time high, something we are seeing in almost every nation but the US, at least so far. Gold is the only true hedge against these central banks, and it's responding to the fiat currency war. Gold tends to have a direct response for central banks who give their local citizens discomfort in the value of their currency. But what happens when the central bank is managing the currency of choice for the entire world? What happens when the entire world wants to exchange their US dollars for gold? Either because of an action the Federal Reserve takes or because the US passes a key psychological number with the markets, like say $20 trillion of debt. Already we are seeing China and Russia begin to hoard gold, with Chinese demand skyrocketing the past five years. China, by the way, is both the world's largest gold producer and biggest importer. So not only are they accumulating gold by the truckload, not one ounce produced is leaving their shore. China, across the board, is preparing for something big in our currency markets. Last year, China partnered with Brazil, Russia, and South Africa to form a competing bank to the World Bank, which is controlled by the West. Since 2008, a half a trillion dollars has been agreed to in currency swaps with nearly 30 countries. The world has an unease about the dollar system, with Russian President Vladimir Putin going as far as saying the dollar monopoly is damaging to the Russian economy. President Hu of China said that the dollar is a product of the past. For 7,000 years, man has mined gold deposits, making it possibly one of the oldest and most reliable businesses in human history. And one of the smartest, because unlike accumulating gold in the retail market, owning a gold mine allows you to keep producing the gold after your initial investment. A yellow metal that if you took all that was ever mined and put it into a large cube, would have an edge of just 70 feet. Think about it, for all of human history, gold is so precious and so rare that if you took all the Egyptians mined, the Romans, and everything since, we would only have three Olympic-sized swimming pools full of gold. The headlines for gold these past few years have all focused on physical gold accumulation by China, Russia, and Eastern Central Banks, but what they have missed is a 7,000-year-old strategy that China is doubling down on. According to data compiled by Bloomberg, in 2013, asset purchasers by Hong Kong and mainland miners increased to a record $2.2 billion. China is buying gold mines at a record, something completely missed by both the mainstream investor and even the gold analysts who tend to only focus on the bullion sales, which haven't been disclosed officially since 2009. Although according to Bloomberg, based on trade data, the physical bullion stockpile has likely tripled since then. China, who is aggressively buying gold, would spark an event if it disclosed how much gold it now has stockpiled. But imagine the true disclosure of how much gold they have when you add up all their deposits, not just in China, but offshore. $2.2 billion spent offshore in 2013 is equivalent to 46 metric tons of physical gold. But when buying gold deposits in the ground, this could be upwards of 5,000 metric tons, even 10,000 metric tons. And that is just one year of record mine buying from China. In October, China may be preparing to update its disclosed bullion holdings because policymakers are pressing to add the yuan to the International Monetary Fund's basket of currency, known as the SDR. China will only be revealing physical bullion above ground, but nothing will be said of their mine acquisitions. This strategy that China has taken of dramatically increasing their exposure to gold through deposit acquisitions can be also implemented by individual investors. By focusing on specific gold companies who in the midst of a commodities bear market and global currency war are out acquiring already established gold assets, partnering with strategic investors like Rick Rule, Eric Sprott, and Doug Casey. A low risk growth through acquisition plan setting the stage for millions of ounces of gold purchased for less than a nickel on the dollar, where in some cases millions of dollars have been spent on exploration, 
but today distressed sellers are looking for a buyer, oftentimes at fire sale prices. The Chinese are acting on this opportunity and FutureMoneyTrends.com believes that when China reveals how much bullion they have in the next few months, a new bull market in gold will begin, one that will be just as spectacular as the bear market that has taken these assets to multi-decade low valuations. To accelerate your gold accumulation strategy with ounces in the ground, visit FutureMoneyTrends.com slash China. The slightest hint of dollar risk the most dominant fiat currency on earth, could unleash an avalanche of wealth into the hard asset space, mainly the mines and mineral companies. You see, when you've got tens of millions of dollars or even billions like Lee Kashin or Bill Gates, buying up physical commodities is completely unrealistic. Sure, they might be able to buy a few pallets of gold, but then what? When this commodity boom that we see coming happens, the smart money is going to flood into the business that own these assets, that own minerals in the ground by the ton. It's only a matter of do these investors bull rush into these assets due to greed or flee into these assets due to fear of a currency crisis. We're not sure at this point, but we do see the latter just as much of a possibility. The dollar has rallied big as of late, but that's not because anything has improved with the US. In fact, it's just the opposite. The national debt for the US is nearing 20 trillion. What has benefited the US dollar is global uncertainty. Essentially, the dollar is the tallest midget in the room when it comes to paper money, which is why we see hard assets like gold, silver, oil, uranium, and copper soaring very soon against the US dollar. To implement the Chinese strategy and accelerate your gold accumulation, visit futuremoneytrends.com slash China. That's futuremoneytrends.com slash China.